Hi, Superspruce here, back with another Factorio++ Plus Plus video, episode 5, and, well, not much has happened since last episode. I mean, it's been a long time, like, recording-wise, so I may have to get reacquainted with this, but, yeah, it looks like what I want to do is, the goal is to set up a main bus, and this is going to be done right here, I have decided... And the thing is, that is pretty far away from where I currently am. So, yeah, maybe I should also set up a, sto um, a stone mine here that isn't just a burner mining drill. That that's another idea I have. So I'm just going to craft myself an electric mining drill and use it to craft, or not craft, just use it to mine some stone because I will need to get a lot of stone furnaces. Um, probably want to just do it sort of around the edge of the map, like here, maybe. Uh, I know, it's it may, it may be weird, but I'll put a chest here, because I'm just getting raw stone, not, nothing more. And I don't know why I did that, but yeah, that's, that's the plan, because I want to make a lot more stone furnaces so I can start expanding these. Because you can see it's not all that much. So, I, th I think what I want to do, I just want to place a few belts down to just see where the, um, what sh it should look like. I'm also going to craft some more small electric poles. Okay, so I've found the place where I'm going to do it. Um, and I have this plan to make, it's going to be, it's going to be wide. Oh, oh, it's going to be a wide bus because of all the modded stuff in, 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 a, in a different save where it's, it's it's not fully vanilla, but it's a lot closer to vanilla than this one. Um, I tried making a, um, a 24 lane wide bus and it's like, that, that's not enough. So I'm going to do a 48 lane wide bus. It's only going to be 40 used lanes though, and, I, and I'll... Get to that in a minute here. So, I think it's, it's definitely going to be wide. I'm not sure exactly where a good place to start. Maybe I can just start placing some of the lanes down. So, maybe I should explain what a bus even is. A bus is a um, it's essentially, essentially a set of belt lanes that are used to um, transport materials. Like many, many different types of materials. Uh, the more commonly used ones can get multiple lanes. So, yeah, so let's see, this is 6 times 4. I probably want a little more than that. So, um, 7, 8, um, 9, and there's a 10th here. Maybe instead I could just do it up there instead of down. So, this is only going to be 40, like, usable lanes. The reason why I'm doing this is to make, essentially, roads for me to to go on. It, you, you'll, you'll see why this is important later on. So I, I probably should just... I, I want to do something where I can note that it's, it's a road. Maybe I can't make any stone bricks yet, but stone bricks would be exactly the type of thing. So maybe what I would do is just do this, and then this would be... Um, like maybe if I just do some random object, like chests, even that's, that's dumb, but I, that, that's what I'm going to do. Probably want to craft some more chests, um, because of that. So, yeah, that, that's the plan for making a bus. Um, it's, seems really wide and it seems really far away, but... Trust me, later on, this will become the, the most crucial part of the base. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to get some more mining drills and some more, um, like, what are, they, what are these? The smelters. Because this, is, while it's enough for now, it's not going to be enough later on. So, I'm actually going to already start building um, what I need for more smelters and I'm, I'm gonna need a lot of stuff I'm gonna need a lot of inserters and everything as well so 
I'll even be using um, a little steel. I'm, I don't think I need that much steel at this moment, but iron is going to be very important. Very important. So at this point, I'm just going to craft a whole bunch of furnaces. So you can see I have four here. I think what I want to do is I want to put another eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Do the same on this side. I think that's the magic number I need for this to work. So this means I will need a ton of inserters so I can transport or I, I can, you know, I, I can transport the material materials to where I need. So you can just see it's, it's a lot. And I, it looks like I made exactly as <laughs> enough inserters to actually um, do everything here. So that's actually pretty cool. So I'm just going to get this going. Um, just do it um, every, anywhere I can. It's not really it's not really all that exciting, but I mean, maybe I shouldn't be showing this, but I will. So yeah, I'm going to do I'm essentially going to do the same thing for copper. I know. So now I have this. So I can do one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that was one additional. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, no, it's good. It's still twelve on each side. That's the. I know that's the ratio I need. So yeah, just gotta keep making inserters. Actually, no, not inserters. I need to make belts. Um, yeah, you can just see. Even with all this iron, it's. Still not enough. Now I can only make two inserters. So, yeah, you get, gotta wait. Maybe I will eventually be automating the production of belts and all that. But at this point, I don't have that. So I just got I just gotta deal with doing everything manually. Um, I mean, Factory is a game all about automation. So, like, I will be able to automate a lot more stuff than what I'm currently doing now. Because if this is all I could automate. If I had to handcraft everything, or almost everything, then it'd be lame. Wouldn't be such a good game, then. Okay, so the build is now completed. Now it is time to make a ton of belts. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be transporting all these materials all the way out to um, all all the way out to the uh, bus. So yeah, maybe I should make some more before I do that. I should probably make some more. Actually, I already have some electric mining drills here. I only have three miners. That's not a lot of of them. I probably should be. I can see just how much more I can potentially get here. Maybe I can. Maybe I should do these edge ones later on. And just get the get the ones with a lot more resources on it. I will need more belts, though. So I'll be doing that. Okay, so this is probably good at this point. Um, I have a bunch more miner. So I should probably again. I should probably be doing some for the coal as well because yeah, it's not gonna give me a lot of coal. Okay, so now I have mined some more, I'm getting some more coal, and now it is time to make a ton of transfer belts. Yeah, I know, this is, this is tedious. Again, the automation of all this will happen soon. I, I just first really want to get everything onto the main bus first. Okay, so what I'm doing here is that I am... Essentially, this is going to be the copper belt. So, I'm essentially just dragging this belt all the way over to this forest. It needs to traverse the forest, which that means a whole bunch of cutting down trees. And I really want to get the steel axe research because that will speed up this mining. Because, yeah, I this desperately needs to be sped up. And now I can actually drag the belt all the way out to over over there and this will allow me to, to finally get the first material on the bus which 
yeah, that so sounds good, but um, there's, there's more that I'm going to need to do. Because then I now need to get the iron on the bus. So, yeah, it's essentially just going to be the same thing, except I need even more belts. Okay, the steel axe research is finished, which is really useful. Now, I'm not exactly sure. There's a bunch of stuff I can do at this point. Um, I'd, uh, I could do something like heavy armor. That's probably pretty good, especially... It's only requires copper and steel, which I have both of. So, I'll probably do heavy armor. Because this will allow me to... Like, remember how I died a couple of episodes ago? Um... That'll make it harder to die because essentially I will have more hit points. I mean, it's a little more complicated than that, but essentially, yeah. And also, now I can mine faster, so this is very useful. Like, for just building everything. So, now you can just see how much quicker it is to drag the belt over. I'm not exactly sure how far I wanna want this to be from the copper one, but I'll do it like here and... Now, in the l later on, there will be a lot better ways to clear trees than what I'm doing right now. But for now, this is really good. Like, at this point of the game, it just feels like that's such a good option. So now, I have both the iron and the copper on the bus. And now, I'm going to do something that's a little complicated. I'm going to make my first lane balancers. And... Maybe it's this is not when I should be doing it, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it now, which will require me to make a lot of splitters and a lot of um, underground belts. So yeah, that's fun. Maybe I can just try to start expanding on this steel. Actually, there's something I can be doing while I'm waiting. This is to expand the electric line all the way out to the bus because I want to build another radar um, so that's what I will be doing here um, I think this is good if I do it like this actually um, this is gonna be my road so it should probably be um, putting this on the other side of the belt um, later on I will unlock um, better electric poles in this but I just got to make deal with what I have here um, like, also with the steel, I encountered a problem that also needs better electric poles. Also, why am I doing it like this? I should do it between, not like... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm being dumb. I should do it between, like, the... Essentially, the belts. I'm also going to try to make as many belts as I still can. It's not a lot, um, but it'll do something for me. Because I'm going to need a lot of belts to make these balancers. I only need a couple of them, really. I think I only need one, but whatever. This this is the design. I don't. It's essentially a blueprint. I, I don't know that many of these designs, but this is one, one of the few I know. So, yeah. Normally, I'm not just going to be copying out of a blueprint book, but... Um, or, yeah, just copying other people's layouts, but this is, like, the tried and true thing, and it's pretty useful to know. So, it's like this. Essentially, what it does is it takes the any input, and it balances it among all four of these lanes. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, um, because that'll become very useful later on. Just like everything. Like, once I get more inputs here. And also, at least at this point, I can start, like, grabbing a lot of materials from here, which is pretty fun and useful. So I said I was going to make a radar, so I'm, well, I'm going to make a radar here. Maybe I should even, like, do this. Um, if, I, if I do this, and then just put something here for every one of these, and then maybe I can put a radar here. And now I can see a lot more, especially downstream, because that's sort of where I want to go. I don't really want to go up north because I, I, I want to explore more of the like the United States. So, and interestingly enough, there's this titanium ferret 36k ore right there, 
and literally 925 titan ore. That's that's not a lot. I mean, it's I guess it's kind of like the the cup rum ferret ore that for whatever reason wants to be in this iron vein. Um, also, there's this 1.7 million cup rum ferret, and then you get this 8.3k stretch knight ore, which I have no idea what that even is. <laughs> And then this is just a mess. It's literally, literally right on top of each other. So, yay. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a bunch more belts down. Um, my strategy is to have two lanes of copper here instead of four. So, because I don't need as much copper as I need iron. Also, I'm going to be using one of these lanes for iron exclusively for something. So... Yeah, maybe I should even start building it now. I'm going to need a lot more assembling machines than what I currently have right now. Maybe I don't need to make all these belts here. Instead, I can focus on assembling machines. I can only make a few of them, except I can get some iron. So that works out. So the design is is going to be interesting. Actually, I don't even need a splitter um, for this. Instead, I can just do it like... Honestly, I can just do it like the moment it splits here. So this is going to be the first thing that branches off the bus. What it's going to do, it's going to make iron gear wheels. I know, so exciting. Iron gear wheels. And so essentially it's just going to be these three assembling machines. And I don't even have any inserters. I need to make some inserters. Um, the output of these will go right here, and it'll become this fourth lane. That's my strategy. Other people have different strategies, but I like to do it this way. Um, I don't know, it's just my own personal preference. There's, there's no really, there's no right way to play Factorio, that's the thing. So, I mean, I guess a bus means it's the right way, but whatever. I'm just going to make a bunch more splitters, because this isn't a lot. So, I'm going to do it like this. I'm, I'm doing it. The reason why I do it in sets of two like this is because um, I may need to weave something in in the future. I know it's a again it's a weird reason, but you know I like it. Um, the reason why some of the even electric pole placements may seem odd, but I'm doing it to maximize like the amount of things that can be weaved in. Um, if like I run into a space shortage, which again that. That sort of thing may happen. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Now I just need to assign this to iron gear wheels. And I can do shift right click and shift left click to do it for all these. So, yeah, let's see. Hmm. I am low on power. So, at least I've, I've gotten the fundamentals of the bus going. Next episode, I will expand on this. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.